So we put together a demo to kind of show off this technology. Unfortunately, the internet isn't set up right, so I can, you know, like screencast my iPhone onto here. So I just had to quick throw together some screenshots, but we built kind of like a sample app of, you know, kind of a real life beacon implementation. So let's say that you came to this conference and instead of having to go onto the mobile website and look up the agenda each time or pull that piece of paper out of your pocket, you just pull out the Mobile March app. And inside of it are all the speakers, all the rooms, the agenda, all that. But as soon as you turn it on, it starts searching as well. It starts searching for the different booths that are here. So as you're walking down the hallway, you can see a list of all the different vendors. And as you get closer or further away from a vendor, the list will resort. So whoever's at the top of the list is the one that's closest to you. So in our demo here, let's, let's look at Monkey Island here. So I'm zoomed in. And you can see this little bar. And this is an indicator of how close you are to the beacon. Not only can you detect a beacon, but you can detect how far away it is with your phone. So, you know, from 50 feet away, I can say, okay, it's, you know, roughly 50 feet away. On the developer side of things, I can see how far away that person is from the beacon. So, as the person gets closer and closer to the Monkey Island booth, that bar will, you know, it'll grow, and it's an indicator of how close they are to that booth. And the cool thing is I can trigger events at different points. I could trigger it 50 feet away, or 20 feet away, or maybe five feet away, or maybe six inches away. And I have, as the developer, we have full reign of control of that. Also, in that, like in that Best Buy example, we could send messages after certain amounts of time. So after three minutes, if somebody's been staring and looking at your product for three minutes, maybe they're teetering on a decision here. Maybe that 10% off coupon really could be useful in this situation. Whereas if you just threw it at them right away, it might not have meant anything to them. 